Hello Capricorn, welcome to the channel. This is Asnoitia here. For those of you who are returning, thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. And for those of you who are new, welcome. So I will be doing a love reading and looking into the feelings and emotions of the person that you're connecting with on a romantic level, or the person you're wanting to be connecting with romantically. This is a general reading, so it will not resonate for everyone out there. And do keep in mind that it is meant to cover mid-October to the end of October 2020. But again, time is fluid. And this may already be occurring with some of you right now. Or it may happen in the far future. You might have already gone through this. All right. There you go. <laughs> yeah, I was picking up on energies. There's some negative energies, it seems. It's creating a lot of disillusionment. Which is why you have the doubt card. After the doubt card, you have compassion, then you have embracing the shadow, then you have synthesis, sensuality, followed by opening, wow, <laughs> sexuality. And we have healing onto the bottom of the deck. Okay. All right, Capricorn, I'm going to express to you what it is that this person is feeling towards you. My dear Capricorn, what has happened between us goes around and round in a circle in my mind. Even when I stop thinking about it, it seems as though I'm addicted to this feeling, to what has happened between us. Because of what has happened, I am doubting that the connection between us may work out. I have doubts. And I do feel quite compassionate towards you. There is empathy and compassion. You may smile, but I do see that there is sadness in your eyes. There are things that you need, and I want to be that person to give them to you. I want to take care of you. But the things that have happened between us they need to come to light because there has been a lot of darkness inside of me that existed and you saw that part of me. It's time that I embrace my shadow side and you embrace my shadow side. I am who I am and I cannot change it. I may be aggressive, compulsive, and impulsive, but this is something that perhaps you didn't know about, and now you do. I feel there's a lack of peace and harmony in this connection now. 
And this truly makes me feel as though there's things that are hidden in the forest, things that are hidden in the dark that I have not confronted you about, that I've not talked about. They stay inside of me, but I know that they should come out. It is very difficult for me to not stop thinking about you. You are so sensual. Just the way you move, the way you talk, the way your lips move, I love staring at you. Things about your body are very alluring. You yourself, even your personality. It's hard for me to stop thinking about you. And I want to open up to you. There are things that are in my heart, in my mind, that are in dark places, things that I've not shared and that I would not typically tell anyone. But I feel as though I need to share certain things that are inside my heart and come clean and open up to how I'm truly feeling. What's overwhelming right now is that I can't get your body off my mind. so much. It's so perfect. It's so handsome. It's so beautiful. It's wonderful to touch. I love being this way with you. I love thinking about you. It's hard for me not to think about you. And these feelings are so overwhelming that I've decided that I need to take a step back I actually need to heal from certain things that have happened in this relationship which has made us feel uncomfortable, which has created a lack of harmony in this connection. I actually want to take a step back. And I need to isolate myself. I'm forcing myself to be lonely so that I can understand the things that I've said and done and what the effect has been on this connection. I don't want to rush into anything anymore. I know what I did was not right. I messed up. But what I need right now is to heal. To heal my heart and my mind. I need to reset things so that I can think straight in the coming days. For now I want to be alone. I am fine as a hermit because I need to heal. All right, Capricorn. Guys, it truly, truly seems to me as if this person is so addicted to you. Addicted is a word. They may not show this to you now. It does seem to me that they're not showing this these feelings. They might have expressed this to you a little bit. But I mean, this person is above and beyond. This person really does think about you a lot. And there is some toxic energy here that is um, going around and around in their mind. And this could be some type of a behavioral issue that keeps reoccurring that's not healthy. I just want to put it out there that for things like this, because I have created a package, I've been doing this for years, but I actually decided to make it public because it's, it's just better to help, um, which is what I want to do. So anything regarding negative energies, you could just contact me and what I feel in this connection right now, that there is a negative energy and it's repetition. It's repeating on in this person's mind. And this negative energy is also starting to affect you, Capricorn. So um, all they are is just a bunch of prayers. And you can email me and I can send them to you. Um, and what will happen is once you get those, you'll be able to get rid of negative energies. 
and then you will be able to bring in more positivity into your life. What I do see is there's something here that's toxic and this is why I'm mentioning. There's certain cards that pop up that, um, that indicate this. So if you guys do feel that there's anything negative, definitely um, just send me an email and I'll get back to you. All right. So I have here, similar to the Rider Waite, the Beginner's Tarot deck. I'll be looking into the intentions, ha ha ha, intentions of this person that you're dealing with. Yep, Nine of Swords, it seems just about right. There is a lot that this person is going through mentally. They are having feelings of regret, sorrow. They are having sleepless nights, sometimes even crying themselves to, to sleep at night. They feel as though, oh my heavens, what have I done? What? Why did I do what I did? This is what they're feeling. These are also their intentions, plans, and actions that they're hopefully wanting to take. Yes, this person is going to take action. So what's happening here, Capricorn, Nine of Swords, this person is having sleepless nights. There's a lot of anxiety, worry, frustration, and a lot of regret um, as to the actions and the words that have come out of their mouth, the way they've dealt with you. And they're not going to be taking much of a stand or doing anything. Of, of course, we have the healing card, which is exactly that. This person also here has a hangman. So they're just literally going to be hanging around, watching and waiting to see if you react in any kind of way. They're not going to make a move, it seems. However, eventually this person is going to come around. They want things to be quite traditional. They want things to be according to societal norms. Um, they have, from their part, they're, they have a lot of integrity. They want things to be traditional. They like things to have a certain um, conformity. So, you know, going by the book, it's kind of like that. They have a certain set of rules in their mind and they think that things should go according to plan. So um, this person does want to provide you with a solid offer in the coming future. Then you have the world card. This person does think of you as a world. They love you like that. And they're finding it extremely difficult to keep away from you. Um, of course, like I mentioned, you have the cycles card in the beginning and it does seem as though there's some negativity, some toxic energy. So this person is wanting to be with you. Um, emotionally, they feel distant right now. And physically, they are distant. But they want to close this gap. Now, under the bottom of the deck, you do have Page of Cups. So anything, Capricorn, that this person had done, which may have made them feel as though they needed some forgiveness from you, they need to say sorry to you and you are going to forgive them. This is what they're going to approach you as. However, this person is quite shy and they're a little bit unsure of themselves. So when they do approach you, just be quite open, be quite honest. And they have gained the courage to actually contact you. Not everybody can become a king overnight. It happens over time. So we start with a page, that's somebody who is a bit younger in terms of wisdom and immaturity. They are a little bit immature, but that just means that they're inexperienced in love and relationships. So be gentle with this person. That is for those of you that want to be gentle with this person. Because most likely they are going to come back and they're going to be, wow, they're going to be um, trying to ask for your forgiveness. And then you have the Five of Cups and the Judgment card. 
Now, this deck is a Lover's Path Tarot, and I'll be looking into the reasons why this person is keeping away from you right now. What's the real issue? So this is what's going on. This is very similar to what you just had, the Nine of Swords. Um, disappointment. Sadness. Pessimism. So the person you're dealing with, Capricorn, right now they are feeling trapped. They're concentrating on problems instead of all the good things that they do have. They have opportunities, but they're not seeing these opportunities, and they're creating blockages for themselves. Now again, creating blocks. When it says creative blockage, I understand that these are negative energies. So do email me and ask me regarding the Holy Light package. For those of you that are interested, if you want to remove negative energies, if you feel, if you feel these energies, sometimes we can feel these things. And if you have any suspicion, just send me an email. Now, what this person is not telling you is that they're finally starting to become aware that the relationships that they are creating it's what they make of them. So this person has essentially put themselves into a corner. It's not your fault. They have done everything on their own and screwed up everything on their own. And they're starting to realize that it is their fault for behaving the way they did, for conducting themselves the way they did, for the result. They are the one that's responsible. They are actually starting to understand this. They could have made the relationship better but instead they decided to go the other way. This person, even right now, they're not able to appreciate what they still have. So even if there's a glimmer of hope with you right now, as of today, um, or the, the next few weeks, they're unable to see this, although they want you, they're just not able to think in this way. And it's mainly because of sadness, and having a pessimistic attitude, they're quite disappointed. Then you have judgment. The judgment card here, hmm, it does talk about, yes, a choice that needs to be made, sometimes between the higher and the lower impulses. So, there was a lot of chemistry. There was a lot of thinking um, in terms of wanting to be with you intimately. Now, what's happening here is this person is finally starting to see the difference between certain aspects in a relationship. So it says a choice has to be made. So yes, this person has to make a choice. Are they making a choice, Capricorn? No, they're not. Not yet. And they're trying to figure out between their higher and lower impulses. Their higher impulses are things on a spiritual level, more emotional. And then the lower impulses is their desire for your body, for lust, for addictions, for those type of things. So this is what's going on in this person's mind. There's a lot going on where they're not able to make a choice. Um, they really do want to satisfy um, instant gratification. That's what's coming to mind. Instant gratification. Now what's happening here in terms of the connection with you, the issue is there is a sense of stagnation, the inability to act, blockage. There you go again blockage, giving up control. Guys, hands down, I can tell you blockage. Again, this is the second or third time this has come up in this reading now. Um, definitely this person is dealing with negative energy and their negative energy is actually connected to your energy because you both are energetically connected. So some of their energy comes towards you and yours goes towards them and it gets intermingled. And you're starting to feel some of this energy. So yeah, there is negative energy in this connection for sure.
and that's what's called causing some of the blockage. Good things that are to come to you. They will take a much more longer time because there's negative energies that are blocking your path to, for manifestation. That's what's happening. All right, this is, you know what? Let me do this first. Let me just pray on the cards first. Okay. Unlikely. All right. So these are Archangel Answer cards by Doreen Virtue. Wow. Unlikely and reconsider. That seems like quite a message. Success. Okay, I see what they're saying. Forgiveness, there you go. Meditation will bring answers. A peaceful resolution. Yes, under the bottom of the deck, wonderful, very nice. All right, guys, so this is what's happening. Um. These messages are brought to you by Archangel Michael, Raphael, and Gabriel. Okay. So, the message is this, that Capricorn, there's something that you were thinking, or something that you were going to say, or an action that you were going to take. It is unlikely going to work out for you if you do this, so don't do it. It's unlikely going to work out for you, so reconsider what it is that you are going to do, at least with the information that you have now, at least from this reading. Because when you do reconsider your actions and your words and your strategy and your approach to this person on the basis of what I've told you today, it will be successful and you will notice within the next few weeks, even months, that things will start to get better for you. Forgiveness is the key to this connection. For those of you who want to forgive, go ahead and do it. For those of you that don't want to deal with this person, there's no worries, move on. You will find somebody. Forgiveness is the key to this connection if you really want it to be renewed. Because there is going to be a peaceful resolution within this connection. If there's anything negative that has happened, there will be a peaceful resolution. Yes, it will work out as long as you meditate and pray to God and request help from the angels. Things will work out for you. So there's two things here that are going to happen. Forgiveness as well as peaceful resolution. So do keep these things in mind when you're dealing with this particular individual. Alright guys. So, I hope I was able to provide you with some clarity and some guidance so that you can succeed in what it is that you want. Do let me know in the comments below if this resonated, my dears. <laughs> All right. Thank you again for your support and your love. It's been a wonderful journey. I can't do it without you. And um, I hope to see you guys again in November. Until then, take care. Definitely stay safe and healthy. I love you guys. All right then. Bye now.